Vanessa, Japanese language school. And today we are going to learn about Tanabata because this Saturday is Tanabata in Japan. So probably many of you who are in the country at the moment will be wondering what is Tanabata. So Tanabata is a traditional festival here in Japan. And it's, um, it started after a legend. Well, there are many legends, but there's one that's very famous. So I'm going to uh, tell you a little bit about this legend and how to celebrate Tanabata here in Japan. Uh, we have come today to Higashi Ikebukuro Station. Uh, you can celebrate in many other places as well. Um, we are going to tell you how to do it and you can also uh, join in the celebrations of this festivity. So here we are, we have arrived. <laughs> so as I was telling you before, there are many legends, but there is one that is very, very popular and I'm going to tell you about it. So once upon a time, there was this princess called Orihime who was always weaving clothes by the bank, by a bank of the Milky Way. She was always, always, always weaving clothes so she didn't have the chance to meet and fall in love, to meet someone, fall in love. So she was always very sad. So because of this, her father, who was the one who was actually forcing her to weave the clothes, uh, decided to arrange a meeting with a man and who lived across the milk pool when Orihime and Hikuboshi, who was this, um, the man that she was introduced to, um, met, they fell in love immediately and decided to get married as soon as possible. So Orihime moved with Hikuboshi and she stopped with folks. So her father was very, very angry because she, he really, really liked uh, her beautiful uh, clothes, right? So he decided to separate them. Uh, Orihime was very sad, uh, so her father decided to make a deal. He said to her, if you keep weaving these beautiful clothes, I will let you meet him again on the seventh day of the seventh month. And Orihime, uh, Orihime did her best to uh, weave clothes. And when the seventh day of the seventh month arrived, she went to the bank to milk her way and saw that she couldn't cross so she was very very sad and started to cry her cries uh, made a flock of magpies come and they decided to build a bridge so she could cross um, to the other side of the milky way and meet hikoboshi uh, so it is said that every seventh day of the seventh month orihime and Hikoboshi will be. But it's also said that if it's raining, um, they cannot meet because the flock of magpies won't come. So let's hope that this Saturday won't be raining uh, so Orihime and Hikoboshi can meet again. So the way of celebrating nowadays Tanabata is you have to write a wish on a piece of paper I have already written and you can write any wish it doesn't have to be in Japanese though I wrote it in Japanese already and you put it in this bamboo tree that you can find in many places I was always telling you before it could be a station I know Takaranobaba uh, campus also sometimes does this as well for their students um, uh, also if you're coming with a Japan railway pass many times they will ask you to participate and contribute with one wish uh, after writing your wish, you have to put it on a tree and then after the day after Tanabata, they will either make them float over a river or, sorry, or they will burn them so they can reach the gods and your dream can come true. So let's hang our wish. I have written, I did GOPT this weekend and I'm hoping for, you know, that I can pass it. So I just wrote GLPT ni gokaku shimasu yoni. So usually when you make the wish in Japanese, you have to use maske and finish with yoni. I'm going to write my name as well, so the gods know it's from me. I'm going to hang it somewhere around here. Ta-da! And it's 
received a lot, a lot of wishes. Please note that it's not necessary that the wishes are in Japanese. It's okay, you can write in your own mother tongue, that's all right. Gods will know. So please take part on this beautiful festivity. I think it's uh, great, it's one of my favorite um, traditions here in Japan. Um, we hope you have enjoyed this video. Please do not hesitate to comment, like, or share. Um, also, please let us know what you would like to hear about in our next video. So, you know, we can try to make something uh, special for you guys. So, thank you very much for watching. Thank you. Bye-bye.